Tammy, <clears throat> you real messy, huh? Real messy. You take that old bonnet off and your ass be messy. Whew, okay. And I'm like, come on, fruit cookie. I want to put my soap on. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Basketball Wives. And um, this is episode three. D damn, Tammy. I, I was watching Tammy. I was watching how you move. I mean, I haven't watched this for a couple seasons. And and I, I think you're a little crafty. But the way you're moving about here, you're moving about like, okay, honey, look, I'm going to do what I need to do. It's very much trying to play this game like you ain't wanting to be in the mess, but girl, you messy as hell. Whatever, we're going to talk about it. Let me say this. Let me say this. Not in drug Tammy about her wigs and her makeup since we didn't get back in this season. This episode, Tammy, when you do good, I'm going to say that you do good. Your wigs were good this episode. They were nice this episode. Um, you did the curly hair that was um, real natural. It looked more like weave than like a wig. It was cool, and and it it worked. Um, makeup wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. You you did good. You had some good looks on this episode, but you was acting a fucking fool. But but you was looking nice. So keep up the good work, because I, I didn't want to have to keep dragging you. But your hair and stuff was terrible. You been looking real crazy, like you was looking like a brat stall or something. All the beginning of the season, but you back to looking. You, yeah, girl, you all right? You all right? Like you didn't bend down into the projects and had somebody kind of hook you up a little bit and stop trying to be, you know, classy and got the shit wrong. Like you've been hanging out with Karen Huger. But anyway, all right. So listen. So all right, Jen and Evelyn, you two crafty whores. They sit and talk to Cece. And get this whole thing going. They're trying to build this narrative that everything is Kristen's fault. Because Kristen didn't explain that the things that they were saying about her was, it was all just a joke. It was all a joke. But y'all don't even know me to be making a joke. This is like the first time y'all met this woman. Well, actually, before y'all even really met her and knew, y'all don't know her. You don't know her. You don't know her well enough to be calling yourself making jokes. You two whores were being messy, period. And now y'all are trying to switch it around and build a narrative like Kristen is trying to be messy. And that's not it. And guess what? Cece ain't buying it. She not buying it. She see you two messy whores for the two messy whores that you are. I said, okay, Cece, keep right there where you at. Stay right in that lane where you at because you are absolutely correct. Anyway, so Cece goes in and hosts a spa day. See, if I, I could be messy too. She bring everybody together. But, you know, she she still has this nice spirit to her. She not cutthroat like these girls. So she she bring everybody together. She's offering um, services and 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 she done fed them, and she got liquor there for them and stuff. They did mimosas and a little champagne and different stuff. Get in there, child. First things first. You know, Jackie jumped right in there, laying on the table with her goddamn teddies out. And she going to get some, there was some little procedure she was doing to actually, um, just to, to spruce up your decollete. Honey, I said, okay. I knew right then when you go touch Jackie's titties, it's going to turn into a lesbian moment because that's what Jackie did. She went in there. Jackie was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I said, don't gonna try to get off, you old nasty bitch. And she's like over top of Jackie, like over this way. I said, girl, I'd have took and bam Jackie down like that. That old goddamn bulldagging ass shit Jackie doing. She's a mess. She's ridiculous. Anyway, then Jen gets in there. And, you know, because that's what Cece was doing. Cece, low-key mess. 
pulled everybody together and said, okay, this is what was done, this is what was said, boom, we all in the room, bitches, what? Child, they started that, her and Evelyn and them, they start with this, trying to build this narrative, honey, and trying to Olivia Pope the shit. I said, this is a mess. Then Jen just starts snapping out. Like, really, Jen? If you don't shut up, she was on my nerves so bad. I was like, because you're trying to be all tough and trying to talk kind of loud, Jen. Bitch, if you don't shut up, we will go find your husband and make him throw a drink in your face, you bitch. You better shut your goddamn mouth. She was on my nerves so bad. I said, somebody just take and just do her like that or just gut punch her or something. Oh, she was on my nerves. But the fact of the matter is, Evelyn and Jen were talking shit, and y'all are trying to twist the narrative and trying to put that shit back on Kristen, and ain't nobody buying it. It's bullshit. Trying to cause some contention between um, Kristen and Cece, and that ain't cool. They family. That, that just ain't cool. Messy ass whores, but whatever. So then we got Tammy and her um, daughter, Lyric, and Lyric... They went through, it's like two whole sayings that we actually had. Lyric was saying, you know, that she she realized that she was wrong. That whole little situation that happened last season with her and Reggie, how they had that little blow up and all of that. And she, real nice, real nice little young lady. She, she admitted that, you know, there was more to what was going on and it really fell on her. She has these issues that are unsolved. Well, at the time she did issues that were unsolved by her and her father, and she kind of just pushed that off on Reggie unfairly, and she was really, like, sabotaging the relationship between her and Reggie herself, and she admits it, and she wanted to get together with Reggie and fix it, and I said, well, that was pretty big of you, you know, young lady, that was cool, and at the same time, they're having that, and she did end up meeting with Reggie, and it was a nice thing, they um, they got it all straightened out and everything's good and they're good now. I will say this. They were at when it was just Lyric and Tammy were meeting up and Tammy had nice hair on. She had a nice wig. She had nice hair on. And she was trying on wedding gowns. The wedding gown that Tammy tried on, flawless. Flawless. I was like, okay, Tammy, it was nice. It looked very, very good on her. And it looked like it only was going to need minimal alterations because that's very you know generally when you try on wedding gowns there are the child don't nothing fit it just be all over the place it ain't made they ain't made to fit but tammy looked really really nice in that gown she did i'm like you're having a real good um episode here tammy bitch yeah come on now anyway all right so let's go uh kristen and cc get together and cc basically is over the girls like her whole demeanor, you could actually see Cece, Cece could care if she actually ever becomes a part of the group, or is accepted by the, the group, or if she ever even fucking sees the group again. She don't give a damn. She's like over them bitches. Kristen, on the other hand, Kristen wants to be a part of the group. She does. She wants to be a part of the clique. She does. For whatever reasons, she wants to be part of that clique. So, good luck with that, Kristen. Because they're going to keep coming after you, but whatever. Okay, so Tammy introduces, I'm sorry, Jackie introduces Tammy to OG. And um, it's funny. OG, something about her I just can't put my finger on just yet. Something about her is a bit ridiculous. But we know that anyway because she's friends with Jackie, so... There's got to be an element of ridiculousness or you couldn't even consider that you're being friends with Jackie because Jackie is absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, from the gate, Tammy, um, shaded OG's looks from the door in her confessional because Jackie was like, yeah, y'all remind me of each other and it's like a mirror image, and honey, Tim was like, uh, but bitch, where? Because ain't no goddamn way this ugly whore looked like me. I was like, I'm paraphrasing, but that that's what Tammy gave her. And the funny part, at the same time, OG is basically clocking that Tammy is a messy bitch. She clocked right away that Tammy's a messy bitch and she needs to be watched. I said, interesting, funny. I wouldn't be surprised if them two butt heads at some point. Anyway, moving on. 
Um, and you know that damn Jackie's just in awe because you know she wants to lick on both of them for the most part. Anyway, um, Tammy had another sit down with Jen, and she basically is telling her, you know, you need. She's warning her again to stop being so fucking messy, stop getting caught up in the mess, because you know you're not built for it. You know you're not built for it, whore. So you've been warned again. But what Tammy said to her. And it made sense to me because you are being a messy. I'm watching your mess in the way you're moving. But she had told her, you know, I treat everyone around here with a long handle spoon. I'm giving everybody around here the long handle spoon treatment. All this shit about Shawnee laughing at Evelyn, making fun of me, but not laughing when I make fun of Evelyn and shit like that. I'm watching and I'm seeing everything. And I understand that. I do understand where she's coming from with that. But I do see you popping, I and mean, you do that. You pop in, you pop out, you throw shit out there, start shit, you jump back. You you be, you be got some messy moves with you two, Tammy. Y'all all really do deserve each other. Y'all shady as hell. But anyway, that's that. So let's go to this party that OG's having. Child, Jackie looked crazy. Crazy. It was a whole, it had an African thing. And Jackie don't know what type of African that she was dressed up as, but she had to wrap some fabric around. First of all, she had all this black shit on. I said, bitch, ain't you hot? She had, all, she had on like a black outfit that looked like she's a cat burglar. And then had this other, this like some type of fabric wrapped around her. And I said, girl, you look like you are from the straight up African boot, um, African booty scratcher uh, tribe, girl. I don't know. What is this? It's ridiculous. It didn't make no sense. It was, and then Malaysia had told her, girl, you got to watch because you don't know what you're doing. Um, no, what Malaysia, that was Tammy. Tammy told her, you don't know certain fabric goes with certain, um, you know, beliefs and certain tribes and different, you don't even know what the fuck you all wrapped up in, bitch, you crazy. And she's like, oh, shoot. Yeah, and then child OG shows up. I don't know what kind of fucking African she's from. The uh, the ass out Teddy twerk trap. She come in with some horse looking shit that look like she's gonna roll right up a pole. That motherfucker Tammy said, "Wait a minute, her ass is out, and she got a Jiffy popcorn crown." I said, <laughs> "Her hat didn't look like old Jiffy popcorn back in the day that you used to make on the stove, and the shit get big." It looked ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I said, old Tammy, you so shady. But um, I laughed at that. Then as they're sitting there, then the next thing, you know, we got this whole thing with Tammy. It's like this meetup with Tammy and Evelyn. And the fucking Jen orchestrated it. Why is it that we're at this girl's party and now y'all want to bring up the problems that you two have? So they went at that. And it was real quick and real easy. Like, bitch, look, we're not friends. We're not going to be friends, bitch. And we're not going to sit here and pretend anymore. Bitch, I'm not your friend. Fuck you, bitch. And Evelyn's like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. I made jokes about you, bitch. What? It, it, whatever. Whatever, bitch. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, that's cool. Shit. The next thing I know is Evelyn and Jackie. Jackie that inserted herself in. Now she's starting this thing back and forth with Evelyn and Jackie. Now, here that thing goes. Old messy-ass Jen sitting on the side. Well, can't we squash? Fuck, ain't no way that shit gonna get squashed. Jackie called that girl's daughter a build a whore. Like, are you kidding? Child, and Jackie was like, well, it's just done. And this, that, that, all that old shit. I was like, I am so waiting on the day that Evelyn tells Jackie, fuck you, Jackie, bitch, and socks Jackie. Like, Whatever the outcome is, just let it be. But I'm waiting on the day that Evelyn gets so fed up with Jackie that she socks her. Like, seriously. I, and I think Jackie really believes that nobody will sock her. Like, somebody will sock your old ass, Jackie, bitch. She ridiculous. But, so that was that. And then, you know, when it gets to that thing, Tammy always wants to dig into that. And she wants to take Jackie sad. Then... The next thing you know, Tammy makes this comment in her confessional. I'm loyal. I'm a loyal bitch. If anybody comes for Jackie, I will bust them right in the mouth. That's loyalty. No, Tammy, that's you being a messy ass bitch trying to figure out some reason so that you could fight Evelyn because you don't have a real reason to be mad enough to fight Evelyn. So you trying to 
lend yourself to Jackie's bullshit because you want to fight. Just stand up, bitch, and say you want to fight. Now, you old project ass bitch. If you want to really fight Evelyn, just tell her you just want to fight. And she's on Project Bitch, too. I'm sure she'll oblige you. And it'll just be whatever it is, and y'all just be scrapping. But that old bullshit about loyalty to Jackie, Tammy, sit your messy ass down. That's as messy as bullshit. And that was very weak. Very weak. I was like, really, Tammy? You'll get your bonnet and get your ass somewhere and sit down. Shady. A mess. Just say what you want. Say you want to knock with the bitch and get it on. The fuck? Don't try to jump in Jackie's bullshit. Anyway, that's it. That's all they did. And I'll talk to y'all next week.